Hello, ladies and gentlemen, to all my wonderful queens. I am going to be showing you how to get this look today for my second YouTube video. I hope you enjoy it. It's supposed to be like a summery day to night look. You know, it, it can go either way, but it's a little more nighttime, a little darker. I hope you're having a wonderful day, and I will see you okay, later. Okay, so first thing is we're going to go in with our Tarte Clean Slate Face Primer. And I'm just going to take a little bit of that on a damp beauty blender. And I like to start in my T-zone and work my way out. Okay, so next I want to go in with my Photo Focus Concealer Corrector from Wet n Wild concealer starting from my under eye and then bringing it down to help cover a little bit of the redness that uh, I get from sun and on my cheeks and then just cover up any other little blemishes or anything you have Okay, so now that we're nice and blended in the concealer area, I will take my foundation. And today I actually want to go in with my e.l.f. stippling, uh, the small stippling brush. I haven't used it in a while, but I know I really used to like it to apply my foundation. And so I'm just going to take a little bit and I'm going to go in with that and then I'm going to blend it all out with a, beauty, a damp beauty blender. Okay, so let's see. I'm under the impression that you can see what is happening when I look in my mirror, but I hope that, that is correct. So I'm not loving the way that this is applying my foundation so far. I really like doing it with the Beauty Blender better. I just, I don't know, like, I'm sure you could see, but it just, I feel like it's not really getting in there the same way. I think that the Beauty Blender kind of helps conceal your pores a little bit better because of the way it gets the foundation really into the skin. Just really blend it all the way up here. Don't want any harsh lines where you can see, oh look, I'm wearing a foundation helmet. Looks like you just painted your face. I don't know what it is about going in with the stippling brush first, is I feel like my makeup has a little bit more of a cakey feel or look to it. I'm not sure if you can tell. So I'm actually going to now go in with my damn beauty blender into the e.l.f. under eye uh, high definition setting powder. And I'm just going to take a little bit and just set my under eyes. Okay. And then I'm just going to take a little bit extra excess that I poured out and I'm just going to go over my nose. And my chin. Wonderful. Okay, so now it is time to move on to some face things. I'm going to take this brush, which the name is completely worn off, but I know it's from Real Techniques, and I'm pretty sure it's the only one they have that looks like this. So I'm going to use this, and I'm going to kind of get some bronzer. And this is a bronzer from Ulta, but I no longer have the palette it used to belong in, so... It's just a bronzer from Ulta. Okay. 
Now I'm going to take a little bit of highlighter on my Morphe 501 brush, which I love this brush for applying highlighter. My favorite. So I'm just going to take it. This highlighter is from that same Ulta palette, and I love Ulta's highlighters. They're just so, give you such a nice bright highlight. It's so perfect for summer, like when you want to be kind of dewy. And I'm just going to take that and I'm going to get a little bit on my brush. And then I'm going to spray it with a little bit of setting spray to make it just that much more intense. Oh my gosh, do you see that? <laughs> do you see that highlight? Okay, I'm sorry, let's just take a minute. <laughs> oh my, that is wonderful. I, I love that. So that face, or that side of the face, to this side of the face. Wow. Okay. We'll move on now. Wow. And then I'm going to take this brush, which I absolutely love for applying blush. And I believe it's, yeah, it's the Lexi 514 Blush Brush. And I'm actually going to go into a Tarte palette. The Amazonian Clay Eye and Cheek Palette, which has a couple nice, um, these two eyeshadow shades, those are nice, and then this is their blush, which I really like this shade of blush on myself. There is a bit of fallout though, so just tap off the excess before you go in. Now that we're pretty much done with the face, wait, one last thing. Let's just set. So spray my uh, spray your setting spray generously all over your face. Mine is the Slay All Day Gerard Cosmetics Setting Spray. Now it's time for the eyes. So I love the e.l.f. Shadow Lock Eyelid Primer. I think it works really well. Um, I've never had a high-end eye primer, so I'm not going to take offense if you don't take my word for that. I'm just going to use my finger to blend that out a little bit. Now, today's look is going to be a very tart, heavy look for the eyes at least. Um, I'm going to use the new Sex Kitten eyeshadow palette from Tarte which wow has blown my mind. I can't even begin to describe how amazed I am at this palette. <laughs> so first thing is I'm going to go ahead and take a more of like a packing brush and I'm just gonna take the lightest shade which is the shade um, or actually I'm gonna take the sli second lightest shade the shade Sly and I'm just going to dip my brush into that and generously apply that on my lid nice and even just to set that set that um, eyelid primer And I'm only going to do one eye today uh, on camera for you, just to save a little bit of time. So today's look is going to be a bit of a midsummer's night, uh, nighttime look, recommended to me by Miss We Miss Weasler. Thank you. Um, I'm very excited to do this with my new eyeshadow palette. You can see there's some nice t nighttime shadows for a little bit of a deeper smoky eye. I'm very excited. So we want to go in with our deluxe creaseless brush from Real Techniques and put down our transition shade. Now the first shade I went in with to set the eye primer was Sly. And so now I think for the transition shade, I'm going to go in with Paw. Just get a little bit on our brush. Okay. 
Now I want to go in with some of the Wildcat from the same palette. Just take that right in our crease. Oh, uh, sorry, I'm using the Morphe. It's way worn off, sorry. It's, it's a Morphe uh, crease brush. And it's really nice. It's a little bit of a dense blending brush. Now I'm kind of interested in using the blue Prowl. It's a very dark, almost like a navy blue. And I just want to take that and put it on the outer corner of my eye. I'm going to take my same brush I used to apply the Wildcat in my crease and I'm going to blend that out. And then I'm actually going to use the, no idea, oh okay base shadow brush from Real Techniques to blend it out a little bit more. Okay, so now that that is good and all blended, I actually am going to use this, it's actually a concealer brush, but it's by Whatever I say, I'm going to butcher the name, but you know what, we'll just tell you, it's a concealer anti, yeah, no, I'm going to butcher it. It's, it's from Paris, so I think it's French that it's in, and I don't speak French, <laughs> um, but yeah, if you can see the name, that's it. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and take some Cunning, it's nice, and I'm actually using this brush because it's a nice synthetic haired flat brush it's good for kind of packing like if you're going to do glitter on the lid and I'm going to take my setting spray and give that a spray oh that is nice I don't know if you can tell on camera but that is very nice sparkly it's like a light Nude pink. And then I'm going to take this very teeny tiny brush. It's called an accent brush by Real Techniques. And I'm going to take a little bit of Secret. And I'm going to use, it's a very like, it's like a highlighter. It's very nice. And then I'm also going to take this I'm going to take the Veramona brush which it doesn't specify what kind of brush it is but it's okay. And I'm going to take a little bit of Wildcat and just smoke out my bottom lash line a little bit. Not too heavy. And then I'm going to take this brush, once again unnamed, and I'm going to go into paw again and just this brush. And I'm going to take a little bit more of Cunning and go right here. So this is the Real Techniques brow brush, but 
it's too thick for me to actually use on my brows. I'm not a fan of that. So I like to take, uh, I like to take it and use it to highlight the underneath of my brow bone a little bit with a shadow. So I like to take either the color I used on my lid or the color I used in the inner corner of my eye to highlight my brow bone a little bit. So because the color I used on my lid is a little bit more pinky, I'm going to go ahead and use the little bit more yellowy shade, which is Secret, from the same eyeshadow palette we were using earlier by Tarte. And so I've got a little bit on my brush. I'm just going to spray it with a little setting spray because you know I like that extra highlight. I'm going to go up here and just and then make sure to bring it down a little bit. And then I like to take a clean fluffy brush, make sure that we don't have any harsh lines and just buff that out a little bit. So I'm now going to use the Tardiest Tarte Clay Paint Liner in black for my eyeliner. And I love this little brush that they give you to apply it. I do. I love it. It's my favorite. It's very nice. But I kind of wanted to try using an angled brush today. That is perfect. And while I really like that, I want to show you guys the difference. So I'm going to go ahead and actually use their brush on the other side, which I really do like that it is angled. Now I know it's not the same thing, but I thought it might be fun because I used uh, the darker blue uh, in the inner corner of my eye. I thought it might be fun to go in with a blue liner. So this is Marcel Hypoallergenic Perfume Free Waterproof Eyeliner in Electric Blue. I'm going to line my waterline with that. I like that. I almost wish it was like a little bit of a brighter blue. And now I'm going to go in with the Tardius Tarte Lash Paint. I love this mascara. I love the um, wand. Let's coat the top of our lashes and then go under and wiggle it through so we don't get any clumps. And if you do find your mascara clumping a little more than you want it to, you can go in with a spoolie. Let me see. If I can find my spoolie, it's a little broken, but normally it would not be broken, and soon I will get a new one to replace it. It's brokenness. But I just want to show you guys that you can just, on the outs, like, you just go underneath with a clean spoolie. And then... Depending on what your lash preference is, I like to coat the bottom of my lashes. Just one little quick. But I always go over those with a spoolie. If your lashes get too much on them, they can look a little too dramatic, like more dramatic than your top lashes. And you can almost get like a closed eye effect, which is not my favorite. If you find that your bottom lashes have a little bit more trouble curling, you can take your normal size spoolie, not this one, and go underneath and then just kind of curl them like that instead of going over the top. I find that that curls my lashes pretty good. Now the lips. So I'm going to go in with the Tardiest Tarte Later Gram. 
Later, Graham? Yes. It's a lip crayon pencil. And I'm going to line my lips. Okay, so if you noticed, I did like little lines because I'm going to put a lipstick over this and I like to have a nice even color and I feel like that helps and then it also helps your lipstick not crease in my opinion. So I am now going to use my Lip Teeny in Pink Teeny Satin Lip Color. And I'm just going to take a lip brush. I like to line my lips and work inward. It doesn't matter which way you do it. Just to add a little bit of extra something, I'm going to take the Tardiest Tart Glossy Lip Paint in shade Obby. I'm just right there, right in the center of the lips. Okay, and here we are. This is my finished look. I hope you liked it. I hope you liked this tutorial. Please leave all questions, comments, anything in the comments section below. If you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you really liked this video and have possibly seen my other video, subscribe. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching.